Derek's decided to come out of his house again. And he's ridden the horse. Although he looked terrified. And he's asked to ride one of the pigs instead. I don't think that's a good idea. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Well, the pig, the pigs, these are chickens. The chickens are out of food. So we need to get them some food. What we need to do, well first of all we need to move the eggs to the bakery. So that they can continue to bake cakes. Um, then we need to put some stuff on the trailer to sell it. So that we can afford to buy the chickens some food. I think we've got some things around the back of the bakery. We've got some chocolate there. We also need to move the milk into the bakery as well. Um, but yes, these eggs need to go in. We'll leave that pallet there. Gaining in popularity of eggs. There we go. So those eggs are being taken by the bakery now. Uh, so we need to get... Not that. Not that. Not that. Oh, this is growing nicely again, isn't it? Uh, right, we'll get this tra this tractor. Leave that trailer there. We need to go and get the flatbed. Then we can load it up and go and sell some things. Now, I believe that our grass is now ready to cut again. So we'll be cutting that. Half of it's going to have to be hay, and the other half is going to have to be silage. But that's okay. First of all, we need to sort the chickens. And then we need to spray the fields, and then it's going to be grass work. When I say spray the fields, I mean it's not all the fields, it's just the two over that side. And... The, um... And the sugar cane. First things first, though, like I said, chicken food. I think it's, it would be much easier for me if I got a, uh, a forklift at some point. Because <laughs> the, um, the front loader is not overly easy to use, whereas a forklift would be much easier. And a forklift would zip around picking up all these pallets in no time. I could possibly even sell this tractor to get the forklift to be honest because I don't think I've got any other need for it if I'm honest Although I'm not sure selling this tractor will give me enough money to get a forklift. But it's worth investigating. Might see if there are any forklift mods out there next for next time. Right, that's those. Now the chocolates, and then we'll just have to buy however much chicken food we can afford.
get them stocked up. Because until the sorghum is ready to harvest, we've got nothing else to give them. Next month, at least, we'll be able to sell the gold. Which will give us about a 30 grand cash injection. I hope. If I'm right. Let's just check that out quickly. If I look at uh, gold. No, that's cheese. <laughs> Similar. 27,900 and the price is increasing. It should increase until about 29,000. So July is going to be our gold selling month. Right, I shall pop this down here. We'll take these bits. Hmm. We'll take these bits up and get them sold. Buy as much chicken food as we can. That manure pile seems to be increasing quite quick. I wonder if the pigs have produced any manure as well. Oh, yes, they have. Superb. That's good. So manure and slurry coming out of pigs as well now, which is fantastic news. Okay. Someone did suggest that selling the the methane would be a, a profitable option as well. I might look and see if I can get a methane tanker at some point to be able to sell it. There's no point in having it sit there and producing nothing when it could be producing money. But that's going to be after we've um, sold a little more things to start with. Thing is, I'm not getting that many stones at the minute. Next year might produce more stones if we uh, we plough up and start again. Might get more stones off of that now. But uh, this year, not so much. So it might as well sell the methane. Anyway, here we go. How much chicken food are we going to be able to afford? Probably quite a bit, actually. That's not a bad haul at all. There we go. Look at that, £31,300-ish. Okay, let's get some bags of chicken feed. Like I said, I want to get quite a bit. Eight in one go should do it. Right. I'll get these loaded up with the forklift. And I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we go. So 8,000 litres... Of chicken feed. I don't know if it will all fit into the trough. I don't think it will, but we can try. I'm just going to drive over it with this, and then it could all empty out. But we need to get their health back up again. Ooh, don't run over the eggs. There we go. Right, those two bags have started filling up, so that's great. And once we get as much in here as it will take. Yes, I know I really shouldn't be running over the chickens, but... It is a lot easier to feed them this way. And the rest of it we can get put into the silo. So there you go. Actually, they have had all that they want to have. So, they are full up and we've got another... 4,250 now I don't know whether if we drive over here 
it'll fill up the silo as well. It might do. Yes, it does. Even from the far ones, which is fantastic. Get these four empty in. Here we are. So that's great news. So it means we've got some stuff in the silo when we're ready for it, which is fantastic. Right, I can actually leave that there now because what I need is the sprayer. And we need to put in fertilizer, which is why I left this pallet of fertilizer out. Don't know if we've got any more fertilizer in the store. Fertilizer, we do. We've got one there. Got quite a lot of bags of solid fertilizer. Oh, and another liquid fertilizer. Pallets, liquid fertilizer, there. So I don't know how much we're going to need. Um, we need to do this field here. Mm, pH levels need addressing. We need to do this field here, this field here, and... Oh no, this field here has been done. I did it last time. Of course I did. Silly boy. But we need to do these two big fields here. This one is soybeans and does not need to be done. So, let's get this tank filled up and then we'll go and make a start. Takes quite a lot actually, this tank, so it's really, really helpful. 3,360 litres. I do not think we'll be needing any more than that. I need to sell that stone bucket at some point. In fact, let's just do that now. Why not? It's not going to be... Stone pickers. No, it's not part of that. It'll be part of front loader tools. Yes, there we go. 2,084. That's not actually bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I think we will focus on... Oh yes, I forgot I need to manually up a gear on this for it to go any faster. I know it's a tiny little tractor for this sprayer, but it is what we've got. In fact, I wonder if we could get some skinny tyres on, uh, on the John Deere and maybe use that on this. Right. Now the sensor should work on this as well and we'll only apply the right amount of fertilizer for the crop. So that will be pretty good. Here we go. We are now working. And there you go. It's only spraying where it needs to spray as well, which is fantastic because it means we won't be using any more fertilizer than we need to be. As you can see from the map down the bottom, it's actually not too bad already. Um, in fact, we're just going to be adding a tiniest little bit, basically. As you can see, we've still got 99%. This field is actually already pretty good when it comes to fertilizer. I think that's because we... Did we spread muck on this field? I think we did. Yeah, so what I should have done is spread the muck and then cultivated it in. But it didn't do that. But anyway, this should be a good finish. We've only used 5 litres so far. We want to maximise the yield from this field. But, um... Yeah, this is where we're going to start to use a bit more because we're over a different soil type now and we need to make that work. So... I'll swing this round. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is the bit that needs it up this end of the field. Mm, 
I'm so glad I went for the uh, the sprayer with the sensors because it uses absolutely minimal herbicide and fertilizer and they cost a fortune. So I'm very, very glad I went for that. Right, I'm going to get these two fields sprayed at top speed. And then we will catch up. Well, that was impressive. The entire two fields done on 10% of a tank. That's hardly any fertilizer used at all. And two massive fields, arguably they didn't need much. They've been pre-spread with uh, slurry or, or manure. But then that's why we spread it with slurry and manure, because this stuff I don't, I don't see me having to buy any more fertilizer or herbicide. Well, possibly herbicide, but definitely no more fertilizer this series. To be perfectly honest. We've still got a bit over in the in stores. And what we're going to do... We're going to go unload this now and put it into storage. And then we're going to get our mowing underway. I'm going to see if I can fit whatever's left in here in here. So we just get... Oh no, we'd, have to, we'd end up with two tanks anyway, wouldn't we? Right. Not enough space to unload, it says. Go on. Unload somewhere. Well, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's unload over here then, if that's what you want to do. There we are. I don't understand why there wasn't enough space for that, but... Uh, 
There we are. Right, we'll get this put away in here. And I'm hoping that that is the last time we have to use that sprayer with that tractor. Although it's a fantastically wonderful, amazing tractor, it's too small for that. Right. Let's get this fertilizer put away. We'll get it put back into storage. And then we'll get the mowers on the big tractor. And we will start work with the grass cutting. In fact, before we put the mowers on the big tractor, let's get the milk taken out of the cow shed. Because that needs to be distributed to the dairy and to the bakery. In fact, the bakery is probably not going to take much at all, so it'll just be mainly the dairy. But we will top up the bakery before we do that. We need to keep producing those cakes. Right then. That can stay there. Now, this is what we want. Here we go. Ah, no, I probably need to fill it with milk before I take it out of the cow shed. There we go. That is filling nicely. Wow! All the way full. How much has the cows got left? Another 6,000 litres. Well, let's see how much the bakery will take. And then we'll top it up again. And, uh, oh, wow, bakery didn't take much at all. In fact, so we're going to have to empty this into the dairy and then fill it up again from the cow shed and empty it into the dairy again. We must have had a load more cows start producing milk because this is a huge, huge amount of milk, which is fantastic news. Really is good news. Because we're going to keep the dairy and the the, uh, the bakery going for quite a long time. Right, let's get the other 6,000 litres. Pop that into here. And we'll put that in the dairy. Now that the uh, sugar cane's growing again as well. 6,500 litres in fact. Now the sugar cane's growing again as well. Not only will we get a load of sugar. We will also get a load of pig food again as well. Which is fantastic. Once that has... Once that is been fully harvested. There we go, look at that. That is a decent amount of milk now in the dairy. A full amount of milk in here. It's just eggs we need, but we're producing more and more eggs all the time. It's fantastic news. Right, drop that there. Check on the chickens. Yes, their productivity is going up as well. Derek's horse is all right. Probably could do with some oats. So as soon as we, uh, as soon as we harvest the oat field, Derek's horse can have some oats. Why have I adopted this horse? I didn't even buy it. I didn't want the horse. Now I have a horse called Derek's horse, and I am not Derek. Now I seem to be feeding for it, and not only am I feeding for it, caring for it, and not only am I caring for it, I'm feeding it with my own produce. I think there's definitely, definitely complaints needed.
Right, before I forget, because I always will forget, if we go into this, I want to set the pig food to... Oh, yeah, that needs to be storing. Uh, in fact, we can change that to selling to sell the last bit of that. Uh, flowers distributing, sugars distributing, so that's good. Oh, we're running low on flour. Well, I say low. 75,000 litres is not low, but... Uh, we're also storing chaff. So that's good. Uh, what on earth needs water? Oh, excuse me. Grape... <coughs> oh, dear. Grape juice needs water. Well, that's interesting. Grapes also produce pig food. Well, would you look at that? Olive oil produces pig food too. It must be the mulch. Hmm. Interesting thought. Very interesting thought. Hmm. A anyway, let's, uh, we've got grass to do. This is episode 78, so we have got... 22 episodes left of this series. I want to end on episode 100 when we will sell everything we've got except for the plot of land and find out how much money that we've made in total. Right, we're going to be mowing it around the pigs. Ah, oh. that's interesting. The front mower is right up in the air still. Hmm. Well, never mind. So, this first bit here can be done as silage. And the bit the other side of the woodland can be done as hay. We'll cut it in two bits because we'll spread we'll spread it when we cut down the other side. As we will need to ted it as well. We do only have a small tedder, but that's all we need for now. This stuff can be baled straight away and wrapped, but the uh, other stuff will need to be tedded, rowed and then wrapped. Not wrapped. <laughs> Not wrapped. And then we'll pick it all up and stick it in storage. Right. I think round this tree. That should do nicely for the silage side. So we'll get the silage side all cut up first. And then we'll do the hay side. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, well, that's the grass side all cut. Need to move over and do the hay on this side. However, we're going to end the episode there for today. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll start the first the episode next time by doing the hay.
see you again very soon. Bye for now.